Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. It's a storm brewing. You know what I mean? Look at these clouds, man. Look at that. This is exactly what God feel like. Yeah. Listen, man. It's something that's been under our nose for a very long time that we, you know, we just don't talk about, man. Really? What's the hierarchy? What's the hierarchy in the quarterbacks in the NFC East? What do you think it is? Some people say Carson Wentz, Dak Prescott, Eli Manning. I think those people ain't looking. I think those people were just following suit. I had to do some digging. Eli Manning is the second best quarterback in the division. It's not even close when you really think about it. It's not even close. He threw for 4,000 passing yards two out of the last three seasons. Now, we only going to judge him since Carson Wentz and Dak Prescott has been there. The reason what puts Carson Wentz over Eli Manning is that Carson Wentz has actually thrown for 33 touchdown passes in a season out of these last three seasons. Carson Wentz has shown an MVP caliber. So Carson Wentz is going to be the best quarterback in the division by that standard alone. Now, with Carson Wentz and Dak Prescott, there's no comparison to it no more. There's no comparison to it no more. With the stats that I dug up, with the things that really matter, now people like to look at the overall stat and the overall bottom line, but they forget that man played eight more games than Carson Wentz. That's a whole half a season. He got more passing yards than Wentz by like, what, 150 yards, 200 yards? He played a whole half a season. You know, I got more touchdown passes than Wentz, though, with eight more games under his belt. That should strike you as alarming as well. And the fact that old Carson Wentz got the bag and he didn't get paid yet. Let's talk about the stats that really matter. Of course, I brung the receipts. Of course, I brung the proof. Let's talk about the stats that really matter. Okay. Zero touchdown games. Carson Wentz got six games that he played without throwing a single touchdown. Mind you, he missed eight games. It could have been more, could have been less. He missed eight games. Dak Prescott played all 48 games. Dak Prescott played 13 games in his professional career without throwing a single touchdown. 13 games. Now, everybody likes to say this guy is leading these, 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 these drastic comebacks. This guy is the comeback kid. Nobody got more game-winning drives than Dak Prescott. Well, it's easy to do that when you got when you got Ezekiel Elliott running for 80 of the 100 yards and you just dinking and dunking for 20 of the yards. It's easy to do that. 300, 300 plus passing yard games. Dak Prescott only thrown for 300 yards five times in his career. Five times in his career, man. Out of 48 games, five times. Carson Wentz did it third time, 13 times with eight less games. Eight less games and he did it more than double than what Dak Prescott did. So right now, zero touchdown games. Carson Wentz got six. Dak Prescott got 13. 300 plus pass yard games. Carson Wentz got 13. Dak Prescott got five. Tell me how that even makes sense. It don't make sense. This is the one that this is this is the one that should let you know that this guy, they, these drives are getting led. Yeah, they're game winning drives, but it's somebody doing the bulk of his work, and it is not Dak Prescott. Prescott, man. We've been fooled because everybody's looking at the bottom line. Nobody's giving Zeke his credit. If you're going to pay this man, you got to li listen. Zeke need Zeke need 30%. Zeke need his money like Frank Lucas in the sugar jar. Zeke need 10% of whatever Dak Prescott getting paid. I don't care what nobody say, man. Carson Wentz got 27 games where he threw for under 300 yards. 27 games where he threw for under 300 yards. That's a high number for a quarterback that played only 40 games. Dak Prescott played 48 games. 48 games. He, this is, this is alarming when you think about it. Dak Prescott played 43 out of 48 games where he threw for under 300 yards. And he want this much money a year? Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? 43 times out of 48, this dude threw for under 300 yards. That's a game manager, man. He ain't busting his cannon, don't like these guys will have you believing. It's a game manager, man. It ain't nothing we ain't never seen before. That's Tyrod Teller type. That's Tyrod Teller work. RG3 could do better than that in 48 starts. This is Tyrod Teller work right here, bro. A gassed up Tyrod Teller, man. Now, this is the one that really killed me right here. This is the one that really killed me right here. 
In 40 games, Carson Wentz has thrown the ball. He's, he's, he's thrown, he's, in, in 11 games out of 40, he's thrown 20 or less times. In 11 games out of 40. And I guarantee you that most of those 11 games was in his first season. He's thrown 20 or less times. Dak Prescott has thrown the ball 20 or less times, 27 times, in 27 games out of 48. That's damn near two seasons, bruh. Two seasons of dinking and dunking. Throwing the ball 20 or less times. 27 times out of 48. They are a running team. Ezekiel Elliott puts it. I'm going to go over these stats. All Listen, this is, these are the stats that matter, bro. These are the stats how quarterbacks get paid, bro. This is why he ain't get paid yet. I believe they're going to pay him real soon, but this is why they, they thinking about it. Can he mature into what Carson Wentz is doing? Listen, six zero touchdown games. A quarterback should never have zero touchdown games for the most part. It's a throwing league. Zach Dak Prescott did it 13 times out of 40 where he didn't throw for a single touchdown. Mind you, these were in consecutive games at one point. When Zeke was out, I think he did it like three games in a row where he didn't throw a touchdown pass. Pathetic. Three, so, so he's already shown that he can go into slumps to where he just ain't clicking. For weeks, for weeks, he can do this. Five 300-plus passing yard games. Five? That's not a lot. 300 passing yards is like the norm now. Carson Wentz did it 13 times. They both, they, they both starting off in the younger, but five and didn't miss a game? All them snaps, all that experience? Five? <sighs> 43 times he threw for three for under 300 yards. 43 times he threw for 300 or less yards or under 300 yards. Under 300. 43 times. Out of 48 games. <sighs> 20 or less uh, times he threw the ball 27 times. 27 times he threw the ball 20 or less times. Come on, bro. Eli Manning is the second best quarterback in the NFC East, man. It's not even close, man. It's not even close, man. We could all disrespect Eli like he's not a uh, MVP or whatever. The, his kryptonite is the Eagles, sad to say. But Eli Manning is the second best quarterback in the division. He threw for 4,000 passing yards two out of the last three years. And one of those years, he threw for over 25 touchdown passes. Dak Prescott has never thrown 25 touchdown passes in a season. This is a game manager, bro. And we comparing him to Carson Wentz? Carson Wentz is about to be one of the GOATs, man. He's about to be one of the GOATs. Simple question for Dallas Cowboys fans. If Dak Prescott is all that, why hasn't the deal got done? Why hasn't the deal got done? Why hasn't the deal got done? Carson Wentz going to separate himself this year from this dude, man. We're not going to even be talking about these two quarterbacks in the same light after this year. This year is going to be separation. Carson Wentz thrown for 4,000 passing yards and 30 touchdowns. Minimum. It's going to be a separation this year. We're going to separate the bombs from the gods. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a complete separation, man. Stop disrespecting Carson Wentz. And say, like, I think it's disrespect to Eli Manning too, man. I think it's disrespect to Eli Manning. I think in the last five years, he only didn't throw for 4,000 passing yards in one season. I think it's disrespect to let Dak Prescott leap, just leapfrog Eli Manning, man. Dude ain't like that, bro. I, I, I just... I just don't, I don't believe in him. I don't believe in him how these other people believe in him, man. Not when you play 48 games and you could, for 40, and for 43 tries out of that 48, you throw for under 300 passing yards. You some animal that we supposed to fear, man. We know we got to stop Zeke. We know you can't consistently throw for 300 passing yards. We know you can't consistently do that, bro. We know you can't do that. And nothing going to make us change our mind now, man.